Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of aluminum hydroxide, which is ALOH3, plus sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4, and that will produce aluminum sulfate, which is Al2SO4, and then plus water, H2O. So I already wrote down our chart and all of the elements or the polyatomics that I see. Now I'm going to give you a little trick. If you see that you have your polyatomic hydroxide on one side of the equation, and if you see a water on the other, the easiest way to balance this is to just change the water into not H2O, but to say HOH. This is the same as H2O. I have one uh, oxygen and I have two hydrogens, so H2O, but it just makes it easier for balancing. The H in front is going to be grouped with the H, and then the OH in the back is going to be grouped with the OH. So it just makes it a little bit easier. Now let's just write how many we have of each. So let's start from the left. I see that I have aluminum. I have one aluminum, so I put a one here. For the hydroxides, which is OH, I see that I have three hydroxides, so I'm going to put a three here. For the hydrogen, I see that I have two hydrogen, so I have a two here. And the polyatomic sulfate, which is SO4, the four is included in the polyatomic, so I don't see any parentheses, right? So that means that I just have one sulfate. Moving on to the product side, I see that I have aluminum, and there's a two here, so I have two aluminum. Now I see parentheses around my sulfate. The number is the three. There are three total sulfates. So for the sulfate down here, I'm just gonna put a three. And then coming over to the water, AKA HOH, I have one H and I have one OH. I don't see any subscripts, right? So that's secretly a one. So I have one for both OH and H. Doesn't matter which one you start with, just pick the element that is easiest to work with for you. I'm gonna start at the top. I see that I have aluminums that are not balanced. You always want to bring the lower number into the higher number by multiplication. One times what will get you to two? One times two. And that number that you stated is the coefficient that you're going to put for where the element that you're describing. So I'm going to put a two here. But now you have to be fair. If you put a coefficient in front of a compound, it has to be distributed between, in this case, the aluminum and the polyatomic hydroxide. So both of these numbers are going to change. So I have two aluminums, which is what I wanted, and now I have two times three hydroxides. Two times three is now a total of six hydroxides. So now let's just see which one looks easiest Maybe I'll balance the sulfates. You could jump around. That's fine with me. I see that I have a one. One times what will get me to three? One times three. And that number that you put is the coefficient for the spot for the, in this case, the polyatomic, the sulfate, right? I'm going to put a three here, but it's a compound, so you got to be fair. You have to distribute. So this three is going to be distributed between the H and the sulfate. For the hydrogen, you had three and a two. So three times two is a total of six hydrogens. And then just like we wanted to do, we have now three total sulfates. Okay, so the aluminums are balanced, the sulfates are balanced, and for both of the H's and the OH's, I have a six on one side and I have a one on the other side. Doesn't matter which one you balance first. Let's maybe do, I don't know, the hydrogen. One times what will get me to six? One times six, right? So that number goes in the front and that's a six. And then you just gotta be fair. It's going to be distributed between the H and the OH. But six times one is six, and six times one for the hydroxide is also six, and you are now balanced. Every number for the elements on both sides are the same. Now, if you want, you could turn this back into saying six 
H two O's, right? So the balanced equation at the end of the day is two AlOH threes plus three H two SO four, which will produce one Al two SO four three, and then six waters or six H two O's, and that is it. Hopefully this video has helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a like if it did and subscribe to the channel, which will help us out. I really love talking to you guys and I hope you guys are having a great day. Happy studying and, you know, be well. Do awesome on your tests and quizzes. I will speak to you soon. See you then. Bye-bye.